Hi everybody, Kat here. Welcome to the channel. It's Saturday morning. I just wanted to quickly comment on Princess Catherine's cancer diagnosis. That's a terrible blow. Now we can understand why they didn't want to say much, why she was out of sight, why they said you wouldn't be seeing anything or hearing anything till after Easter because we understand now that children have gone on their Easter break as of yesterday, and this would allow the family time to kind of cocoon alone together and process this information without kids asking at school and it being all over the news and, and all of this. And this is why they wanted to wait, and that's very understandable. Um, William's in a heck of a spot now in that he's holding the load for Catherine, for his children, for the king. Um, they can't afford to lose any more principles, really. Slim down monarchy, holy moly. So a lot is resting on William's shoulders. We understand the reason that he, with only 40 minutes to go, had to pull out of his godfather's um, memorial service and that was because that was the day that they did receive the confirmation from Kate's medical team that she indeed there was cancer found um, during her surgery when they did the pathology afterwards did the test afterwards so now we understand that she's just beginning her chemotherapy treatment this is going to be, this could be a long road for her. This could be really tough. And so, of course, my sympathies, best wishes go out for the whole family. My prayers go out to Catherine for, you know, a full recovery. Prayers for strength for the whole family. And, of course, the king as well. Everybody, they're all, we've all known someone with cancer or that, you know, cancer has affected us in some way. Um, and it's devastating. It's devastating. But what I don't understand, and I think there's still going to be questions about, is the way this was handled. Understood they did not want it out. They did not want it to be public property, this information, until they could address the children and deal with it that way. And that's, you know, that's what good parents do. But I think the palace really fell down in their, I don't believe those car photos were real. I don't believe the picture at the market was really her. I think, you know, that they fell down the way they manipulated thing in that photoshopped photo um whether that was kate kate did that because she was just trying to put out something positive to hold people you know hold the madness around around her absence at bay you know try to put out a po picture to quell the the madness, well, and it didn't work. But, you know, when the Pellis kind of laid the blame on her, she took the blame for it, strong woman. I just think that the Pellis could have handled things better because um, it put her in a hell of a spot, I think, and that's kind of unfair. Their team needs to... And I mean, I'm no PR expert, I'm no crisis management expert, but I just think that a lot of the hullabaloo that ensued over these last couple of months could have been avoided had there been better management to the situation. That's all just my opinion. So now, of course, we know going forward we're going to be interested to see how she's doing i hope she does you know the odd up update doesn't have to be every week but i hope she checks in and lets us know how she's doing i hope william checks in perhaps 
you know, as well, or in lieu of her, if she's unable, you know, not, just not feeling up to doing a video, good grief, we understand that. So, best wishes, all our prayers for Kate and everybody else in the royal family. They're having a rough time right now. And hopefully, you know, in the near future, she'll be back. And we just have to wait and watch and see what happens and keep those prayers going out for her. Have a great day, everybody.